everyone this is Shana this is the weekly update welcome if you're watching this introduction I would like to take the time to apologize to you for not being very active here on the channel at the moment I'm having a lot of work um, in my day job I have to work overtime at the moment and that's why I don't get the time nor the inspiration to make videos at the moment but I'm trying to change this this week, so hopefully we'll have two new videos. It will be love videos or love-related videos, um, love-related readings this week. So fingers crossed we can make it. So bear with me. Thank you so much for bearing with me as well, for being so patient. That's also the reason why I haven't been answering to any emails at the moment. I have really a lot of work, uh, but I'll try to answer the emails you've been sending me this week or today as well. And sorry for that. It's a really an exceptional situation. I know it started some two months ago, but um, I hope I can change it in the near future and I'll be able to do more videos for you. Okay, so thank you for being faithful <laughs> and being so patient with the situation and I hope I can change it soon. So that being said, so we have three possibilities here to see the energy surrounding you this week and we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Choose the pile or the stone that you feel most attracted to, and um, I will see you in a couple of moments. Thank you so much. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading, pile number one. There you go. So what are the energies surrounding you this week? We have the female king of swords. You know, this deck here has a female king of swords and then it has the, king, the queen of swords. What I'm lacking here in this deck um, is a, a male queen of swords. That would be interesting as well. And it would be fair and balanced. Now, then we have the world. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, I know the Nine of Swords can seem very daunting, but actually here for you, pile number one, this is not negative. Why? The world brings a huge energy into this week, and it's really a turning point. It's really like closing a cycle, a very important cycle, a cycle where there was confusion, where there was worry, where there was um, a lack of uh, clear sight, of seeing things clearly. And having here the female king of swords, this is amazing because she, in this case, um, brings a lot of clarity. It can help you um, really to see the bigger picture. And one thing that here in this deck, the female king of swords has, is this needle. So here with clarity, she can also help you to see how everything is interconnected and how everything, you know, every step of your life was important to bring you to where you are now. And suddenly you see what every step meant. You see what every step brought to the table, how, how it could help you develop. And it's like keeping things together, keeping you together. And it's like, and by revealing what's really, what's the significance of every step. And it, hmm, I'm trying to find the word, just give me a second. And trying to see you what, each moment or each situation really was, you know, you, you'll be able to see this, then this, this worry or this confusion or this anxiety that you probably even felt all your life, it will fade away. Because here the world closes this cycle and starts a new one, right? 
And it's like almost like this represents the sun and we have here the earth and there the moon, just as an example. But it's showing like, like everything, you know, rotates, everything has a cycle, how everything has an up and down and how everything that starts has to end and what ends will restart. And it's you restarting a cycle, but it's on a higher level now. So it's like it's more like a, a spiral. It's not a circle that closes and starts from the beginning. It's a spiral. It's closing, but now you're on a higher level. You go up a level. So it's almost like telling you here that congratulations, you're you're on the next level now, and uh, you are stronger now, and you're not a slave to your emotions. You're not a slave to a blind program. So you are ending patterns. You are ending emotional cycles. And of course, for each and one, each and every one of you, this will look different. This will have a different flavor and it will be a different subject or a different area of your life. But whatever it is, it's, it's so clear to you that it can only be positive. It's really this week is going to bring a lot of clarity. And finally, you can let go of, um, it's almost like you can let go of the devil, you know, it's almost like the, the devil card is missing here because you're clearing that devil energy, that uh, slave to a pattern or to a blind program energy. So you're freeing yourself from, the, from that, from any anxiety, any confusion, from even paranoia, and from the feeling of being inadequate, of not being good enough. You're freeing yourself from all of that, from all of that negative thinking, because now you can think clearly. So it's not that you're starting thinking, oh, well, it's also beautiful and positive and not falling into a, a toxic positivity. You're just seeing things as they are. You're seeing your own value and how you are the world as well, how you are um, important for this existence, for this life, you know, for all that we call life, you are a main piece. So you're rediscovering and some of you rediscovering your own worth, to put it on a practical terms. And it can be that you are deciding to change your life. You are deciding to, you know, maybe some of you are like, uh, okay, um, I'm putting myself out there and starting relationships. Others of you will be, okay, I'm, I'm moving house. Others will be, I'm getting, uh, I'm applying to a new job. You want to start something new with your life. And and this is a good sign, is the sign that this, this cycle is coming to an end and you're already entering the next one. It's like it's a threshold that you're crossing this, this week. And yeah, in a... Um, in a very conscious way. Okay, I hope it made sense so far. Then we have the spirit guardian of autumn, and I'm recording this in autumn, so it makes sense, letting go. And it's all this season is all about letting go, the falling of the leaves, and, and this is what you're doing, letting go of your of the past, of concepts of prejudices of ways of thinking of attitudes you're really like changing skin actually this week and it's in, on a very conscious level but here seeing the guardian spirit of autumn or spirit guardian of autumn it's like you're also being protected during this process so you're not alone and it's also the conf a confirmation that you were never alone you've been always guided step by step and it's really even if sometimes it looked chaotic and it looked like okay this makes no sense and uh, you felt a bit lost but seeing here there was a threat to it and every point maybe it was like a moment of crisis or a moment of insight and uh, and enlightenment but it was a very important point and uh, pillar and uh, milestone of your life. Here we go. So you're letting go. You're letting go of everything that doesn't make sense in your life and in this new you that you are exploring. Then you have the daffodil fairy, new beginnings. Yeah, so it all makes sense. You're closing a cycle and you're starting a new one. So you have the fall of letting go, but you're already, you know, starting spring. <laughs> you're not even getting into uh, to winter. You're just like being born again because you're already there. It's just like you're already on the threshold. You're not starting this process. You're ending it. So you're 
all about new beginnings this week. At the end of the week, you have new ideas, you know what to do. You're either already applying, or you're already going on your way, you're looking for houses or even saying yes to some proposals. So this is a, a week of decisions and clarity and action. Then we have ruling number six. And again, the autumn theme. theme. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed. So yeah, but you're ruling. You're ruling this autumn. You know, this autumn uh, pile number one is uh, especially this week is about you getting control of your life. It's about you um, making decisions and going forward in a way that you feel more fulfilled and you feel better in your own skin. Now, when it comes to love, what can you expect this week? Pile number one. When it comes to love, what can you expect this week? There you go. We have here a closed gate. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. So there's a situation that is ending or it's a situation that you think that you're closing the gate. You're closing the gate on a situation. You're finding closure and you're moving forward. And you see here, we have power here at the bottom of the deck. And it says, true power is liberating and transforming. Yeah, you're breaking free. You're coming back to your power also in love situations. So what can you expect to happen in your love life this week? File number one. Let's get one more card. What can you expect to happen this week? File number one. Protection. I was telling you about it, right? You are protected. The universe is keeping your love connection safe. And it's keeping you safe as well in your decisions. And, and then we have the answer is yes. He will be back, trust and know he will return. For some of you, there may be like you in a situ in a separation, and maybe you believe it's a closed gate, or maybe you, you're letting go completely. But you know, that's a, could be that someone is returning to your life. You're closing your gate, but another window, another door, another gate is opening. And it's like with this protection card and the spirit guardian is really like. Do what you feel is right because you're being guided. You're being protected all along the way. Beautiful. One more card. So. For your... Let's see... For your love life this week, what message can we have as well? Yes, an old flame. An old flame may be returning. An old flame that you thought was um, yeah, finished, that the, 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 the gate was closed. But now we have the message here that will be returning. And actually, a rejection was protection at that moment. And something is returning. And here, bottom of the deck, we have first kiss. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, But I'll leave you with that. Pile number one. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And uh, I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading here with this beautiful citrine. There you go. Now, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number two, we have the page of pentacles. We have the knight of wands. And we have the page of swords. So pile number two, we seem to have here a new beginning. This is really a new start. And you seem to have new ideas this week. There's a new project that looks very 
inviting, very exciting, something that probably you've been wanting to do for some time as well. And now there's the possibility and now you have the opportunity of going ahead with it. And you're going to do it, you know, like out of a gut feeling, out of like an impulse. You're going to feel very confident this week and you are now um, able to take risks and to go forward with your intentions and with your project. And it's also, you're getting a lot of information and you're going to have some tips. You're going to have new ideas. There's some research here being done. And you're also building up a network of communication and support. So some of this work or some of these ideas or possibilities uh, will be carried online. Um, it can be that you also get like a fan base or some... Um, subscribers, people that view your work and support your work and kind of like encourage you to continue and to continue on sharing your ideas. And uh, maybe for some of you, it will be even art, something really creative, but you're going to, you're going to feel inspired. You're going to fly high this week. And again, here taking risks and cross, you know, doing the impossible, you know, because some of you have been having these ideas for some time and maybe you were a little shy or you were afraid of taking risks, but now you're just crossing that threshold and you're just doing it. And you, you are, you have the knowledge, you have the courage, and now you even have the resources this week. So it's like, it's, it's starting something beautiful is the start of something that will take you a long way it's the start of something very solid with a strong foundation. And also here with the Page of Swords is telling you that you are prepared, you know, and it's time to go ahead. It's time to, to make the first step. Yeah, because some of you have been thinking of this idea for some time, but maybe you haven't dared to, to really take that step. But here, the Knight of Wands is saying that you are going to do it this week. You're going to feel very brave. Follow your impulse and just do it. And it's something that will be very beneficial, something that will fulfill you. And, um, and it's going to be a really, a really beautiful phase for you. So you're starting this week a beautiful phase and it's a second chance at something or even a new chance in a new direction and something that, again, like I was telling you, will fulfill you deeply. So, but let's see what you, what the Oracle cards have to tell us about it. Just a second. Ah, right here. I almost lost the Oracle cards. So we have Standing Stones Passage. So it's really like I was say, uh, telling you, it's a threshold. Is uh, you leaving your comfort zone? Is you going ahead with um, with your ideas? You trusting your ideas? And it could be that some time ago, you couldn't even imagine, you know, entering um, these kind of areas in your life or this new phase of your life or doing a certain type of work or working for a certain type of company. You know, maybe you thought it was out of your reach or even dating a certain type of person could also be. We don't have here any love cards at the moment, but this could be also one of the facets of this uh, context here. It, you thought that, you know, uh, these things were out of your league, out of your reach, but now you're noticing, no, they've always been there, you know, for the taking, so to say. You just thought that you weren't good enough. But now this is not a problem anymore. It's like you've overcome that kind of thinking. You overcome that self-defeating attitude. Now you're stronger and you're a lot more positive and you, you have now a notion of your self-worth and you have the courage to go forth and just to risk it. You know, it's like really entering here a new dimension, getting into the fey world, so to say. And then we have the Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. I find this really interesting 
right? Because here it's telling you, well, you're being guided, you're being protected. But now with retreat, it's again, it's like you creating your own world. So some of you who chose pile number two, you will be creators, you'll be very creative people, artists, you're creating um, your own world this week, or maybe you're sharing it with other people, you know, going online, putting it um, online. And, uh, and it could be that some of you this week, you'll stay some time at home for some reason. Maybe you can work from home, yeah, you're doing home office, others, you know, starting a project at home, like a hobby, something that you can then share with the world. But there's something here that will make you be or stay more at home. For some of you, because this is the winter spirit, could even be a cold, you know, that can force you to stay at home. But it will actually then give you some time, although you have a cold, but um, you can do some creative work. You'll have your ideas because you're resting at home. This is just for like 1% of you, okay? Uh, so don't be distressed about it. Um, but what I see here is you creating a world for yourself. You making your vision come true. You know, your own bubble. You, you're creating a safe space for yourself while, you know, taking your risks and... Uh, growing and traveling and continuing with your journey and then we have cuddling so sweet so cuddling is very important also for survival without cuddling human race has wouldn't have survived and all animals cuddle you know every animal loves to cuddle and uh, every being loves to cuddle even plants even trees love to be hugged so and i think this is something again here with this retreat again creating your own bubble creating a cozy safe space to be and uh, so on one hand you're starting something new so for this it's also one of the reasons that I was thinking for some of you could even be a new relationship or having that honeymoon phase in a relationship or rekindling that sweetness on a, in an already existing relationship. But to creating a safe space, creating so your own world, your own bubble in order, you know, to recharge and also to experience some sweetness as well, which is quite important. Yeah, so it'll be a week of new beginnings and of, uh, of feeling safe and feeling loved. Really, really nice. So when it comes to your love life, pile number two. So... We have, for some of you, there will be a choice. Choice between two. Your heart already whispers the answer, listen. So this could be the choice between two people, or it could be the choice between um, a lifestyle and a person, right? Or working, being a workaholic and your partner. So there's a choice here to be made. Or moving in together or not right? Having children or not having children. There's something here that you need to decide this week. And then we also have reunion. So second chances, getting back together is now possible. Keep an open heart. So someone who is returning, pile number two, and actually here with the two pages and the night, there are many people in your life entering your life right now. And that's why, for instance, if there are many people in your life and causing havoc, so no wonder that you want to retreat and just, you know, create your safe space so you can think about it. For some of you, this will be the case as well. And one last card for your love life, pile number two. So maybe some of you are already in a relationship and someone from your past is coming back and you go, oh my God. <laughs> so, file number two. So the energies for their love life this week. 
Okay. One more message, please. For their energies. Well, there you go. Infinite possibilities. Yeah. There are different choices for you this week. Pile number two. But uh, you still be a bit plagued with doubts and fears because, you know, wondering about the future. And this is also here, this vibe here, you know, this passage. It's, it can be a bit scary starting something new or letting someone coming back into your life. You know, it all has to do with risks. That's why you want more information as well this week, because things look promising and you actually want to be impulsive and just take the risks. But it could be that you need more information that, you know, you have to rethink the situation a little bit before you make a final decision. Yeah, and this is your week, pile number two. I hope this inspires you. I hope this um, yeah, resonates with you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number three. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of healing in this pile. So for you, pile number three. So there's healing here with the Queen of Swords. You're healing something from your past. You're healing some emotional subject. Could have to do with love, not necessarily. Um, this could have to do with any area of your life. But the main thing is that you are healing. You are so contemplating. You are... Um, Deep in meditation, so it can also start like a meditation or a spiritual practice this week, but you, you require some peace and quiet, some peace of mind in order to be able to adjust your emotional body, right? To bring your emotional body into balance this week. And that's why here with the <clears throat> Eight of Cups, you may be retreating from a situation um, or maybe leaving a situation behind in order to heal, in order to get some peace of mind, in order to get balance, emotional balance again. Now, if this is the case, what is the situation? This is a situation where there was a lot of manipulation, where it was a lot of um, untruths, so to say, um, where... People were probably either using you or either not being really honest with you, be it conscious, consciously or unconsciously, you know. But this is something that you got, you realized, you became aware of, and now you're turning your back to this kind of situation. So this is one of possibility of interpreting this. And the other possibility is some of you, you are really like traveling this week and this travel will be very beneficial to you and will help you also to see clearly this uh this travel um uh, allows you to gain some distance from certain situations in order to gain perspective in order to see the situations for what they really are and again to gain that balance again and um, and it could also be that you are getting like uh into a spiritual practice like i was telling you earlier You're starting a spiritual journey as well some of you and there's now i just got journal as well some of you are starting a journal you putting your thoughts onto paper 
And again, it's like you're documenting this transformation. It's what I see here is like the start of a transformation. It's a decision that's being met, a decision of li living like something behind or someone for some of you um, in order to transform, in order to grow, in order to find balance again or to be re-empowered. What else? And... And here also is also the need of detaching in order to gain like this healing or um, emotional balance. You have to detach from your feelings. You have to detach also from the learned feelings, from the learned way of seeing and feeling the world in order to gain this clarity, in order to be able to see through facades, to see through the surface and go deeper and see, like I was saying, things for what they really are, the situations for what they really are. This is really important. But many of you, I have the feeling, you may have been feeling depleted. Uh, you may be feeling tired, feeling like, you know, very difficult to, to get that balance. And But I see you getting this balance this week, okay? You're getting balance, you're detaching or detaching from situations or feelings or even leaving situations behind in order to heal, in order to find your balance. Okay, before I continue repeating myself, let's see what the other cards have to say. We have Raven Spirit Truth. Again, you'll be like more concerned with the truth this week than usual. You're going to also, like I said, see the truth behind situations. You're like seeing behind the veil of the facade of situations and people, see their real, in, uh, real intentions and, um, and also the dynamics of situations, even of relationships between people. It doesn't mean that people are actively deceiving you, but sometimes we get into certain dynamics in, um, in relationships, in behaviors. Um, and we fall into it, be it as a, a repetition from what you've learned as a child or what we believe it should be or because our sense of self-worth or lack thereof, then we get into dynamics, you know, even like power struggles, and we don't even realize why. We don't know why. We just make the other the enemy and that's it. But this week, you're going further than that. And like, there's a lot of reflecting this week, contemplating, like I was saying, and you're realizing also your role and the other person's role in these dynamics, in these situations that probably constantly happen to you. And you're going to see the truth, right? And you are able then to detach and leave certain behaviors and uh, certain situations behind. Then we have wisdom. Yeah, you're gaining wisdom this week especially about yourself, about connections, about behaviors and how people deal with one another. And you'll be able to put also the wisdom into practice and to grow from it. Wow. And then the last one, we have travel. There you go. Yeah. So some of you will be traveling like the eight of cups here only relates to travel but um actually then it happens the same it it exposes you to new experiences the distance between you and certain people and situations will help you see the truth about certain connections or some themes in your life and the contemplation the contemplation or the view through another perspective will give you this aha moment and uh, and you can grow from it and make the right decisions for your growth. Yeah. So then we have now a message for your love life. So what will happen in your love life this week? Pile number three. What will happen in your love life this week? Pile number three. We have power and true power is liberating and transforming. So you're coming back to your power this week. You're growing. You're freeing yourself from anything that kept you in chains or in negative mindsets. What else? So 
What is happening in your love life this week? Pile number three. What is happening in your love life this week? So, one second. So, it's taking a little while, but we are patient. It's okay. So, pile number three. What's happening in the love life of pile number three? A destiny point. Which path will you take? Follow your soul dreams or stay in the comfort zone? Wow, this sounds very dramatic. But I think this week you're seeing things clearer. Then we have bottom of the deck, gift. Expect a gesture or gift to reveal their true intentions. We're seeing the truth this week. And this is your destiny point, is you seeing the truth and then being able to make the, the decision. Wow. What else? Give us one more message here with this other deck. For pile number three, message for your love life, pile number three. A message for your love life. We have family. We also have wishful thinking and we have a message. Then bottom of the deck is have your cake. <laughs> so it's actually positive. But maybe this decision that you'll have to make and you also have here the eggs and the nest has to be to do with family, forming a family, um, or has to do with your children as well, if you have children, or if you're planning to have children. So something that may have to do with that as well for some of you. And so, pile number three, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you.